Right, I'm going to tell you the, dis the difference between distance and displacement. Distance is a scalar, displacement is a vector. Watch this. I believe I can fly. tell you about a scalar and vector. So a scalar has size only, an example of that could be distance, and a vector has size and direction. Um, an example of that is displacement. So when I went to the beach, I kicked the ball into the air, the ball travelled 15 metres up, and then I came 15 metres back down again. So what we'd say is the total distance would be 30 metres. Now, because I've set a size only, that's a scalar. However, if we want to turn that scalar into a vector, I'd have to give a direction as well. And it would no longer be called a distance. It would be displacement. Okay, so displacement is an example of a vector because it has size and direction. So if we take the same journey, what we're interested in for a vector is where did it start, where did it end, how far did it travel then, so what's the size involved, so it's 20, remember the units, metres, and what's the direction, well remember never eat shredded wheat, so east is coming across to the right here, so since the ball came across to the right, from left to right, it's east, so it's 20 metres east, alright? And that's how to take care of business with that. Thank you very much. Take three. Let's just see if I can see the size of my head like. Like, not that my head's massive, but the height of a s- <laughs> 